seem more like a friend to me or more like a brother. And I just was so sick of hearing that. She sat down and I just looked at her and she just squirmed and I just enjoyed her squirm. And <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at her and it was like, oh yes. Oh, yeah. you did it. <laughs> She's like, what are we gonna do with all that energy? <laughs> I can't believe you dragged me into this. Yeah. We'll put you back together after we saw you in half. Roommates or college friends would be outside a door and they'd hear some crazy shit going on and they'd come in afterwards and say, dude, what the fuck were you doing there? What was that? When you're fixated at all on, I want to get my sexual desire handled, I want you to have at least an equal amount of attention on your own heart. The response I have is more like a sigh, like, oh. <laughs> Or it could be beautiful and raunchy. You know, like it could be like, <laughs> that's the sweet spot, isn't it? Because if you're gonna feel it, you might as well feel it. There are areas you can touch her that she finds annoying when she's not aroused, but that she loves being touched there when she is aroused. One reason to do it is just because the women seem to really like it. It's gonna be dead if we just try to please her. Right. It's gonna be dead if we just try to please ourselves. Right. Kind of the difference between being a boy and being a man. You are born a sexual being, you will die a sexual being. You are going to experience a complete transformation in your relationship to your own sexuality, your own sexual desire, your own sexual expression, and definitely in how that impacts your interactions with women, both inside the bedroom and outside.